If I truly believed that uh, there was any intent to maliciously uh, damage or hurt the person involved, then I would have dragged them into the parliament myself yesterday and forced them to uh, respond. Um, I provided an explanation. Um, I provided an apology uh, without excuse or explanation. And I must say, last night, um, this really troubled me. Um, you know, to have a victim survivor that, um, that felt that this government uh, wasn't being supportive um, was something that, um, that, as I say, deeply troubled me. It's one of the first nights that I've lost sleep for a long period of time. Um, and look, I'm going to do this once and I'm, going to, and I'm, I'm not going to speak about it again. Um, I've great empathy for people that are victim survivors. You'd all be aware I cr crossed the floor back in 2002 to bring on a commission of inquiry um, that you know, ultimately could have completely derailed my own career. I'm the first Premier in the state that has taken the steps to have a commission of inquiry. The reason that I've done that is that I have great empathy because I've walked in their shoes. You know, when I was a young man, in fact, when I was 16, I was a victim of um, child sexual assault. It was by a former teacher. Um, I'd left my high school and was uh, over the Christmas holidays before going off to either Launceston College or taking on, as I did, a later stage an apprenticeship. And I was asked to go to their home for, to have a beer, which I thought was fantastic. I'd known this person for a long period of time. They'd spent a lot of time around the football clubs that I was involved in. Whilst I was there, they placed their arm around me and they grabbed for my groin and they tried to get their hand down my pants. Now, I was big enough and strong enough to, um, to get them off me and to, um, to get away. Now, I haven't spoken to anyone about the motivations behind why I crossed the floor in 2002, why I feel so passionate about having this commission of inquiry and once and for all getting to the bottom of these matters, but they are very personal. And in terms of the person yesterday that took offence, you know, I hope that she will provide me with her uh, phone number, that I can have a conversation with her, because I've walked in her shoes. I know what the loss of trust feels like. I know what the shame feels like. And I want to get to the bottom of this through this commission of inquiry so that once and for all we have a framework moving forward that parents like me today can be absolutely certain that their children are in the safest possible place when they are in the state's care. Now, in terms of the matter yesterday, um, I hope that I can have that conversation with the person involved um, and then I'll have more to say after that.